Honey. What? Oh. Money! 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 They found the college fund. Hmm. Nicholas, come on. I don't have all afternoon. I do. Well, I guess I do, too, actually. Unless I want to go back to staring at the computer screen, trying to think of something original to say about aftershave. Oh. Mommy! Uh, Joe, help me, please. Why does Nick smell like aftershave? I've got 750 words on aftershave due yesterday for Guy Stuff magazine. So you use Nicholas as a test subject? Nicholas like perfume. It's not perfume, Nicholas. It's it's uh, aftershave. It's uh, it's for men. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Then what are you doing home so early? I thought I would come home early to cook supper for once. What's wrong with pizza? Too expensive. With what we spend at Gary's every month, we could afford to keep ourselves in tuna supporter and linguinios for years. That's why you bought genuine maple syrup in bulk? What are we, opening a pancake house? It was on sale. Uh, well, good. And when we're dead and gone in 50 years, the kids will have something to remember us by. Hello. Hi, Mom. I'm at home. No, nothing's wrong. Why does everyone think there's something wrong? Sure, if it's that important, come on over. On my way. Ah! Oh, Mother! You need to get one of these microphones, dear. Those things cause brain damage. She would know. What's so important? I'm having myself frozen. Climb in. There's plenty of room behind the fish sticks. I just saw Dr. Heinrich von Newsom, the leading expert in cryogenics. He says I'm the perfect candidate for freezing. All I need to do is die. You're sure that's required? Joe! I need you to sign this so you can have the authority to thaw me out later when they find a cure. A cure for what? Whatever kills me. For another 500 grand, I could have myself cloned. No, the freezing sounds like a bargain. I'm out of here. You just got here. Don't you want to see the kids? They'll be home any minute. Uh, uh, not for hours. Uh... In that case, I'll go. I'm evaluating my white blood cell count tonight with the new machine I bought on the Internet. What's wrong? Why are you home so early? Nothing's wrong. We're going to have a family dinner together. There's nothing here to eat except groceries. Mom, am I going to college? Am I? Copycat. Me too! Of course you're going. You're all going to college. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it now, kids. You have a long way to go till college. We had career day at school. A man came to school today and told us all about college. Your mother and I told you never to talk to strange men about college. He said if you go to college, you'll get rounded and fat. I think he meant well-rounded. And if you go to college, you get a credit card. That's for when you want to charge an A. And there's spring break when we get to go to Florida and be on TV. And maybe meet the saucy boys. And the best thing, Mom, you don't have to go to class if you don't want. College sounds better than Paradise Mountain. He said that college is very, very, very expensive. Uh, yes, he's right. So can you afford for us all to go to college? Or just me, because I'm the oldest. No fair. Quit shaving. Liz Larson, you're under arrest. On what charge? Not being able to send your children to college because you've wasted precious resources on food and clothing. Girls, stop that or you're not going anywhere. Of course we have a college fund, don't we, Joe? College fund? Um... 
We talked about it, remember? Absolutely, I remember. Of course I remember. I'm sure we have one around somewhere. Let me check my other pants. Oh, Joe. Listen, there's no problem. We'll have enough money saved by the time you're all ready to go to college. Years and years and years from now, okay? Okay, Dad. If you say so. So how much does college cost these days, anyway? A good college can cost as much as thirty or 40000 A kid? A year. Do they have to go to a good college? Joe, remember all the plans we made for the future? We had money put aside for a rainy day. What happened? Well, we didn't know it was going to get so wet. Boy, am I glad I don't have any college-bound puppies. <coughs> that I know of. Mm, wh what? What's wrong? Where's my remote? Here. <sighs> Shouldn't you see someone about your dependency on that? What's wrong? What if we can't send our children to college? Look, we'll send them to college. Don't worry. I can't help worrying. Liz. Don't Liz me, Joe. I hate being liz This isn't just about college. It's not? No. It's about braces and camp and expensive jeans and whatever else their friends have. They're not babies anymore. They're growing up, Joe. And we've got to be ready for it. Oh, who knows? There could be a depression. I'm experiencing one right now. We've got to start saving now or we'll never catch up. We'll put away a little every month until we have enough to invest. Look, Liz, 30% of our monthly income goes to the mortgage, 50% for insurance, utilities, and the cars, and 40% for clothing, doctor bills, you know, etc. And the rest, well, let's just say there is too much month left over after our money. Well, I'm going to start cutting back right now. You know, it's the little things that make a difference. Where are you going? To turn the bathroom light off. Leaving the light on all night costs money. But I won't be able to fall asleep. Uh, Liz, don't you think you're overreacting? No. But I've had the bathroom light on since I was a baby. Now who's overreacting? Go to sleep. Not before you tell me a story. Anyone who has to sleep with the light on shows a serious lack of dedication to the leisure arts. Okay, so we save $12 by losing the movie and sport package on cable. We cancel all the sport magazines and your membership to the fitness club. You can just not work out at home. See how easy it is? No. How come I seem to be losing all my perks? Because you spend more than I do. I do not. Let me see that. Look, $65 on anti-wrinkle cream? I have a job. I have a job? Yes, but you're a writer. Nobody cares what you look like. How come we spend so much money on gas? Well, that's because the kids miss the bus every morning and I end up having to drive them. We're no longer parents, we're staff. Starting tomorrow, you'll just have to get the bus or else walk to school. What? We have to catch the bus and go to school on the same day? Mom! Look, we're just trying to cut back a little so we can put some money aside for important things. Like college? <gasps> yes. Well, that and uh, other things, too. I knew you and Dad didn't have enough safe for all of us. They're on to us. Oh, well, we've got to try harder to cut back. I don't know where we can cut back. I do. But why can't we run a video? This is so much fun. You'll see. Hey, hey. Oops. What the? Uh oh. <clears throat> it's got no flavor, no bubbles, no color. It's called water. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Turn the heat back on. You want to go to college or you want to stay warm? <gasps> I thought so. Ew. This isn't pizza. It's toast with tomato ketchup on it. I'm working with what I have. Why do I get the feeling this budgeting thing isn't working? You're leaving me? Oh, I knew it was just a matter of time, and and who can blame you? I mean, I've tried to be a good provider, but I know you could have married a lawyer or a doctor. Or... Joe, I'm not leaving you. Oh, you're not? No, I've decided to have a garage sale this weekend. I hate garage sales. Because you hate getting rid of anything. They say getting rid of stuff can be emotionally cleansing and good for the soul. Sure, it's not their stuff. The Tuckers made $5,500 on the garage sale last weekend. 
Yeah, the open bar and the roulette table had a lot to do with that. Oh, can't you think of anything in our life that you'd like to get rid of? Your mother. That's not funny. Though she thought a garage sale was a good idea, so she's coming by to sell some of the things she never uses. Like her immune system? Joe, this is our children's future here. Now come on, a garage sale can be fun, can't it? Ladies, tired of unnecessary cellulite? Perform liposuction in the comfort of your own home with a state-of-the-art Fat No More 1000. Forty dollars! Sold! Tired of waiting your whole life for medical results? Then you'll need the I'll Show You I'm Sick Medical Laboratory. You supply the bodily fluids and the lab does the rest. Check your cholesterol, kidney and liver functions. Comes complete with this lovely pleather carrying case and a waiver of liability in case you can't find a vein. All for just $165. I'll take it! Sold! How come they're all buying all of Gaga's old things and not ours? I don't know, but you have to hand it to her. Never. Mom, this was my favorite dress! I don't want you to sell it. Oh, Tracy, that dress is five years old. Yeah, she never took that one off for a year, remember? Yes, I washed it every day for a year, remember? Okay, you win. Take it back inside. Mom, this was my very first Halloween costume. Honey, wouldn't you like some other little girl to get to trick-or-treat on Halloween as a baby dinosaur? No. Okay, take it back inside. Hey, this is my autograph photo of the Lakers. You can't sell this. It'll be worth a fortune. You've got this for me on my birthday. I have a confession to make. I signed it. What? I signed it. I figured you'd never know the difference, and you didn't until I just told you. Well, then you definitely can't sell it now. How are we ever going to make any money if you and the kids keep taking everything back into the house? Hey, hey, what's this doing here? I found it in the basement. Are you serious? This album be worth a fortune one day. Disco Buck, do you know how unique this is? Heartless, just heartless. Well? Well, after we took most of our stuff back inside, uh, we did manage to uh, sell the house um, unfurnished for $200. Ha ha ha, what's the final total? Well, your mother made enough money to buy herself that new MRI machine she's had her eye on. We made $24. And how much money did we manage to save this month after all our cutbacks? Roughly uh, about 50 bucks. Uh, we'll just have to tighten our belts even more. I think I sold my belt. Or maybe I could ask Gordon for a raise. You think Gordon will give you a raise? I deserve a raise. Look at the long hours I put in, how often I take work home. Well, that's good, but uh, but maybe you should make a bid for his sympathy, you know, appeal to his human side. Does he have a human side? Well, everybody has a human side. But I'm not here for me, not because I've been an important part of the growth of this company. No, no, I'm, I'm here because of my three innocent children who looked at me with pleading eyes and asked, Mommy, are we going to college? No. What? No, no raise. Nice try, though. Very entertaining. He said, no, we're just going to have to tell our children that they can't go to college. No, we won't, because I'm going to get a job. You have a job. You're a writer. Yeah, I know, I know, and a darn good one. No, I, I mean a regular nine-to-five job. Are you sure? Well, we need the extra money, right? Right, but where are you going to get a regular job? Well, I don't know. I've never had a regular job before. Hey, I know. I'll apply to snack food. Where I work? Um, I don't, I don't know. You can set it up with Gordon, right? Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like tomorrow is the first day of school. Sure. That's the last time he had a real job. Uh, no, I'm here because of my three innocent children who looked at me with pleading eyes and asked, Daddy, are we going to college? I'm sorry, but I hate reruns. Hey, you didn't stop by my office on your way out. I guess it didn't go all that well with Gordon. I'll take that as a yes. Liz... I'm a flop in the get a real job in the real world department. But you're a success in so many other departments. Name one. 
Oh, honey, you're a terrific husband and a great caring dad and... Tell that to yourself when the kids graduate from high school and end up living at home for the rest of their lives instead of going to college. College is a long way off. Besides, you're the one who's always telling me to don't worry, be happy. Yeah, well, don't worry. Be blissfully ignorant of impending doom. <laughs> See, only a brilliant writer could come up with that. You think? I know. You can't worry if you're unconscious. Joe! Good to hear from you. Everything okay at home? Two Hawaiian. That's two 11s with extra 14. What's with the numbers? Oh, I'm trying a new system. I want to make some improvements. Well, so do I, in the extra cash department. Really? Well, I'm looking for someone to help out around here. I don't suppose you'd be interested. Just part-time, of course. Me? Delivering pizza? Sure. You could start off helping me here. You can be my executive assistant. <laughs> well, I, I do know pizza. Exactly. I have plans to expand someday. Maybe you could help me with that, too. Well, maybe I could. I Okay, I'll do it. That's great! Uh, just do me a favor. Don't tell Liz. Joe, give me a number six with seven and ten on top, a five with three and nine, a two with eight only, and a one with five. Hold the cheese. You got it. Uh, six with with, with nine and, and, and five. Uh, two with seven only, a uh, five with seven and ten, and, uh, and uh, one with uh, six. And uh, hold the cheese, right? Not exactly. Gary, what's taking so long? Right away. Joe, hurry up on the number three. You got it. Hey, doesn't a cheese pizza come with cheese? Good point. Delivering pizza? is a very important part of the business, too. I'm up for the challenge. Now, you know where you're going. I'll be back before you know it. Well, this place looks familiar. 738 West Flamingo Boulevard, apartment 1411. Why is that familiar? Wong's Pizza. Francis! You are delivering pizzas? Well, that's, uh, that's right, yes. Well, well, well. So it's come to this. My daughter married to a pizza delivery guy. Liz doesn't know. What happened to your big-time writing career? Look, this is just part-time to earn extra cash. We need to send the kids to college. What do they do all of a sudden, Skip? No, 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 no. Liz and I realize that, that we haven't been putting any money away for their college fund. Well, if you ask me, it's about time you started taking some responsibility. Half a number 17, hold the anchovies. That'll be 1575. Will you take a check? If I have to. Remember, don't tell Liz. Would a mother break her daughter's heart? Yes, repeatedly. I included your tip. Great, yeah, thanks. Joe, where have you been? And what is that red stuff all over your clothes? Uh, nothing. Joe? All right, it's tomato sauce. I've been working at Gary's part-time to earn extra money for the college fund. Joe, I can't believe you did that. Well, I didn't want to tell you because I, I knew you'd be ashamed of me. Ashamed of you? I am so proud of you. You are? Of course. I think it's the bravest thing you've ever done. Why don't you go clean up, and, and then I'll show you just how proud I am. Tonight I had the, uh, the good fortune to deliver pizza to your mother. She gave me a tip. A really big tip! <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! We've got to phone your mother! I never thought I'd hear you say that! Uh, Francis, it's uh, Joe. Uh, Joe, your your son-in-law. Yes, your your very uh, grateful son-in-law. Well, it's about time. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna put you on speaker. Oh, mom, thank you so much. Why didn't you tell me you didn't have enough money to send my grandchildren to college? Well, it wasn't your problem. Of course, that's my problem. Anything to do with those little sweethearts is my problem. 
I called the clinic and passed on the freezing. But why? I don't want to come back to a world where my grandchildren are delivering pizza because they didn't go to college. Hey, I went to college. That's why you should stick to the writing and leave the pizza delivery business to people who are good at it. <laughs> are you trying to kill me? There's anchovies in here. But, Ma, how can we ever thank you? Don't worry. I'll think of a way. Ugh, I gotta go. These anchovies are giving me gas. <sighs> Joe, suddenly I feel all weak in the knees. Honey, what's wrong? Hi, I'm not sure I can deal with a world where my mother is so good to us. Well, it's okay. She's just going through a phase. Kids, some great news. What? Thanks to Gaga, your college fund is in good shape. Zelda and I don't want to go to college anymore. We want to start a band. I'm going to count to three. And we're we going. <laughs> Nicholas, go college. Someday, Nicholas, someday. So you think Mama's going to make us pay for this somehow? You can count on it. My mother was a saint. Bernard. No, really. No, what's, what's so funny? It's true. Here's some more ideas on adding to the college fund. Ah! You want the kids to sell? No uh. one needs more than one kidney. Great. Now I have to sleep with both eyes open. Mm -hmm.